YouTube, this is Derek12, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak on 2.1. Um, for this demonstration, I will be showing you how to do it on an iPhone, the first generation, but um, it, this also works for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch. Okay, let's get started. Um, first, you need to download a program called QuickPawn and you need to download the bootloaders if you're unlocking on the first generation iPhone. For 3G, you do not need to worry about that. So, um, you need to find QuickPawn, which is pretty easy to find. I mean, a lot of websites upload it. So, uh, yeah, QuickPawn 2.1, and you need to download the bootloaders if you're doing this for the unlocking of a first generation iPhone. You need boot logos, 3.9 and 4.6. You just need to look for them. It took me a little bit of time to find them, but I eventually found them. So, um, once you have all that downloaded, oh, you also need um, the, your restore file of uh, 2.1. So, download that from website. Just Google it. Uh, restore, download, link, whatever you want to do. You'll find it. Alright, uh, I opened up QuickPawn. Um, I'm just going to click next. It says uh, connect your device via USB, and I already did that, so I'm going to click next. Um, Alright, it found my restore IPSW, so uh, that's a check. That explains that. I'm going to hit next. Alright, I'm going to add Cydia, add installer, and I'm going to click unlock phone. Do not click unlock phone, obviously, if you're on a 3G. They didn't unlock it yet. And uh, I'm not going to replace the boot logos, but uh, unlocking. Um, that's only just for the uh, iPhone first generation, so do not click it if you're on a 3G. Can't stress that enough. All right, I'm going to click next. All right, now I have to find the boot lo boot logo ah boot loader. I'm sorry, uh, boot loader version 3.9 and 4.6. So. Um, I already have mine here, uh, here, and um, here. Okay, now I'm going to hit next. Alright, please ensure your device is connected via USB before continuing. It is, so I'm just going to click next. Alright, wait for your iPhone to connect in recovery mode. Alright, my phone is now going into recovery mode. Well, it's going to. Just waiting one second. There should be just a little uh, spinning thing going around your screen and then just shuts off. Now it's in a DFU mode. Um, hold down the home button for five seconds. Alright, and then hold down the home and power button for ten seconds. Do not let go of the home. Release the power button now. And you just hold the home button for 30 seconds, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, oh, I didn't realize this was off screen. Uh, I think we're good. Alright, I'm just holding it still. Uh, just keep holding it. It's going through all these processes. Um, here. It's a shame. I should have made the box bigger for you guys to see this, but... Uh, I mean, you get the main gist. You can see most of it. It's just a little part of it cut off in the window. Um, it's a weird picture. It shows like a picture of a hard drive right now on my uh, phone. All right, I'm going to let go of the home button. Once that screen pops up, I let go of it. Uh, it says that it's success completed successfully. Oh, now it's going through a process on my phone. It's like a running pineapple. It's kind of weird. Um, flashing N-O-R. Okay. Extra credit if anyone can figure out what that is. <laughs> but um, it's going through the process. You just have to wait a little bit. I'll, uh, got I'll come back when it's done going through it. Okay, um, I came back, it restarted uh, to the uh, Apple logo, then it came into this thing called Boot uh, Neuter uh, 2.1, and it's flashing my bootloader right now, 
uh, please just ignore this pro um, step right now if you're on a 3G. It says flashing bootloader, do not interrupt on my iPhone. Um, I'll just come back. It might take a little bit. I don't know how long this is going to take. Hold on. Alright. Okay, now it's saying it's flashing baseband and the bootloader, a bootloader a loader was successfully flashed and now it's flashing the baseband. This normally takes up to two minutes. If it takes longer, please be very patient. And I guess I'd follow that rules. I mean, there's not much you can do. and Just wait for your phone to go through this process. Okay, after uh, two minutes, I mean, yeah, they were they were right. It took exactly uh, two minutes, and now it's restarting. So it successfully uh, flashed the baseband. Now it's restarting. I see the Apple logo. Wish I could show you guys. I mean, I should probably get a camera for this. It's pretty simple. I mean, I'm just explaining it as it is. Okay, my phone just turned on. I'm going to check. Yes, it, it uh, successfully did it. I now have Cydia and Installer. And, uh, I mean, I, I am unlocked. I don't have a T-Mobile SIM card. I just did it for uh, the purpose of if I ever wanted to sell this phone, which I probably will to my friend. Um, I just did, yeah, so I just did it to have it. Um, but I do have City and Installer on uh, 2.1. I really hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Please uh, rate and subscribe to me. That'd be really nice. Uh, I like making YouTube videos, so um, I will make a new video later. See ya.